Nigerian government plans to acquire new aircraft for Tinubu. Shetima, unacceptable. Peter Obi says. Good day, my people. Welcome once again to the news channel, and this is the headlines for today. By the way, this is Afri's Concept TV, where you get the latest and the hottest news. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, make sure to do that now. Listen to the news in full. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 elections, Peter Obi, has decried moves by the federal government to acquire new jets for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and his deputy, Hashim Shetima. Daily Post reports that the House of Representatives Committee on, Nation on National Security and Intelligence on Friday asked the federal government to purchase new aircraft for Tinubu and Shetima. However, citing the current economic hardship bedeviling the nation, Obi said the move demonstrates the government's extreme insensitivity to the citizens' struggles. In a series of posts on his official ex handle on Monday, Obi noted that the, with the rising insecurity, poverty, hunger, and homelessness in the country, the move highlighted the disconnect between the government and the people. The former Anambra governor described this decision as unacceptable, adding that the situation in the country demands a more compassionate use of resources, prioritizing citizens' welfare. He wrote it on record that our presidential jets have an average age of 12 years purchased when most Nigerians could afford basic necessities. Now, as our country faces significant challenges, Including a high debt profile, our citizens are in even greater need. Instead of adding to our luxuries, we should be focused on alleviating their suffering and finding solutions to their problems. For long, our bad leadership has made our priorities as leaders to be at variance to the needs of society, which is why we are headed now south as a nation. To elucidate further, despite dropping down to the fourth largest economy in Africa, with a GDP of $252 billion and a per capital income of $1,080 billion. With a huge debt burdens and borrowing to service debt, yet we are spending $15 million for our vice president residents, while the USA, the world's largest economy with a GDP of $25 trillion, about 100 times our GDP and a per capita income of $80,000, about 80 times ours, still houses their vice president in number one observatory circle, a house built over 100 years ago and whose value is obviously less than $15 million we are spending on our VP's residence. A reputable real estate company actually reported that the U.S. vice president Official residence is valued at about $7.5 million today. It's therefore time to stop this impunity, insensitivity, and shamelessness and we focus on the needs of our people. We must prioritize education, health care, and lifting our citizens out of poverty. And yes, my people, this is the news for today. As we've seen that um, Peter Albi has come out to talk about the intentions of the presidency or federal government to get private jet for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Kashim Shetima, his vice president, stating that rather than spending this much on things that are not even benefiting the citizens, that they should rather make sure to divert these funds into projects that are more citizens oriented stating that at this point they are making it look like they don't even care about what happens to the citizens of the state and yes my people that is the news for today don't forget to like this video comment under this video and subscribe to this channel to get more news from this channel and if you are and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so you get notified every time that we post in a new content thank you